Ta-da! Hey dudes, what's going on? Lusha Seal here, and I'm here with my USA trip vlog thing. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna just kind of vaguely go over each day and show some footage that is hopefully kind of related to what I'm talking about and some pictures and stuff. Um, yeah. If, if you want to look at my PAX vlog, then here's maybe an annotation if I am not lazy or don't, uh, don't forget or whatever. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna start talking. Cool. What did I do? Oh, yeah. The next day was the 8th of April, Australian time, and I got the plane at like 11.20 or something from Sydney airport and was on it. Um, annoyingly, I was in the middle seat. So I was between two random people and that kind of sucked. Um, I landed in LA on the 8th of April at like 8? No, I landed at 7.30am. So I went back in time, so that was cool. Um, but customs at LA airport didn't open until 8, so that was kind of annoying because we had to sit on the plane for a while. Um, then we went through customs, that was all a thing. And then I got my flight from LA over to Boston. Um, landed in Boston at like 6 maybe, I don't really remember, and I just was like fuck it and got a taxi to my hostel, and yeah, and then I kind of just, I, you know, got rid of all my stuff, um, dumped it all, probably put on a few more clothes because cold or something, and then I walked up my up the street to be like, hey, where should I eat food, because I was hungry, because, you know, it was around the time that I should eat. And I went up the street to try and find like a McDonald's or something, but I couldn't find one. And then I ended up like going to the 7-Eleven and getting. I bought two bags of Doritos, which are huge in America compared to Australia, and like two bottles of water because I was in a hostel and I didn't have my own bathroom or a cup or anything. Um, yeah, and then I did that and was probably asleep by like 8 p.m. because I was fucking tired. Um, the next day, I on the 9th of April, I went up the street again, um, kind of explored, I took a picture with, I think I took a picture with, no, the previous night actually, quickly, quickly, there was, there was like a, there were lots of cyclists, um, they're all grouped in this park thing, and then as I approached them, they were all like, hey, let's all ride away now, and that was, that was a thing, and then the next day I went to that same kind of area, and there was a, um, statue of the tortoise and the hare. And I took a selfie with them. Um, anyway, I went, I explored kind of where I was staying a bit. Um, I found this awesome store that had, I walked, I looked at the sign, um, it said, at the top it said like something comics, I didn't read that, I read like compact disc under it or something like that. And I walked in expecting like just a CD store and then um, there was like, there were records and CDs and stuff, um, as well as kind of skater clothes type thing. Um, but then, it, then the store kind of went up a little bit and there was like a bunch of comics and stuff. So I was like, oh cool. I don't, I have like never read comics in my life, but you know, it was, it was kind of cool. And then there was a bunch of like plushies and nerd shit there. I was like, oh sweet. And then I went around a bit and found a, a wall that had a inflatable unicorn head for cats, which I was going to get for my dog. Um, and I was like, yeah, awesome, I'll just get it now, because they might run out. But then I was like, oh, well, I'm definitely going to be coming back to this store, because, you know, this store is fucking awesome, and I'm going to buy a bunch of shit here, but I'll be coming back after PAX. Um, so I can just buy it then, and then I put it back, and then when I did go back, it wasn't there, and I got sad. But whatever. Um, yeah, the store was awesome. It had a bunch of, like, nerd shit that I got. Um, it had weird, like, squirrel on the pants, and squirrel thingies, squirrel coffee cup. And the horse mask, which I have now in my room on my bed. Um, and yeah, I think I went to a Wendy's maybe that day. I don't know. And it wasn't really very good, at least the nuggets. Um, the next day I went to a park in Boston. And I was like, yeah. And there were some squirrels. And I was like, oh my god, squirrels. Because they don't exist in Australia. And I found a McDonald's. That was the first McDonald's I saw and it was like, what, I'd been there two nights? Um, and I didn't go in it because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it because, I don't know. 
Um, I also found a GameStop there. That was the first GameStop I ever saw, and I was like, oh, cool, and went in it and didn't buy anything because, again, I was trying to save my money for packs because I imagined there would be lots of shit packs that I would buy, and I did buy a lot of shit packs. Um, and then I got Dunkin' Donuts stuff, and just because they don't exist in Australia either, um, and I just got half a dozen mixed stuff, and there was a jelly donut that I didn't enjoy very much. Um, and then later I went to some bridge. Basically I walked a lot this day. I went to a bridge and didn't go across it and was like, fuck that shit. Um, and then the next day was PAX. Um, for, you know, more detail about PAX, I'll hopefully, if I remember, put an annotation here and, and it'll be there for a while because, you know, yeah. Um, basically, Friday PAX, we, well, I met Zach in August. We hung out, played some games, bought some stuff, and then because I had walked so much the previous days, my feet fucking hurt, and they, um, after PAX, we went to a McDonald's and got the food, and that was the first Macca's I got. And then we, they, oh, that was Saturday. And then we went our separate ways. And then on the Saturday, we um, went to a fan meetup that um, some YouTubers were doing, including um, Gassy Mexican, Chill Chaos, uh, Eat My Diction, Goldie. Suck was there after a little while. Um, I think you, you Talk, or You Talk, whatever. You Talk, I think it is. Was there, but kind of left a bit early um, before we got there, maybe. Um, and Markiplier was there. And I think that was it. Um, yeah, we met them, got some selfies, some signatures on my Friday PAX Pass thing. Um, and then we went back to Boston. Um, I took the guys to the store that I found and we bought, we, uh, I bought a horse head, uh, Zach bought a squirrel head, and August bought a unicorn head. Um, and then we went to the park and put them on and people took photos of us. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Um, then that night, Zach and August went out to dinner, and, and I was a little like super tired because jet lag plus super sore feet and stuff. Um, and they got sushi, and I don't like sushi, so whatever. Uh, then on Sunday, we packed again, and we just hung out a lot. Um, we yeah, we played even more games than we did on Friday, and. Um, it was an awesome day. I got a lot more vlogger footage for that than I did on Friday. Um, I think it helped that Zach was also doing it because I felt less intrusive. I don't know, whatever. Um, then August had to fly out that night, which is sad. Um, and then Zach and his two friends and I went out for dinner somewhere, and that was like the only place in America that I tipped because in Australia we don't really tip unless you actually you know, do good service, because we get paid better than Americans. Day after PAX, I washed all my clothes and dried them in dryers, and that cost some money, because, I don't, I don't know, just did. Um, I think I explored up that street again with the shop and went in there and bought some stuff. Um, and it was super fucking windy as well, like I couldn't, there was few times where the wind would like push me forward or it would be hard for me to walk because it was against my face and stuff. I also got pizza that was, it was alright but you know it could be better. Um, then the day after I just explored a bit more and I think it rained that day and then overnight it was cold enough for it to be frosty and stuff. Um, but yeah I just explored a bit more and got pizza that was better. Basically I ate a lot of pizza. Um, and the next day I got a bus to New York, which was an experience, not the bus itself, well, it kind of was. So I got to South Station, I think, is where I got the bus from, and what I like to do when traveling or whatever is go find the gate that I need to, well, get there early and then go find the gate that I need to um, go from, or whatever, whether that be the plane or bus or whatever, and then be like, okay, I need to come here when you know, the time happens, and then my plan was to get food after that, after I found the gate, which was right in the other fucking end of 
whatever. Um, but when I got to the gate, my bus wasn't meant to leave for like an hour. When I got to the gate though, there was a sign saying New York City and people queued and getting on the bus. So I was like, oh, okay, they're just boarding early and hopefully maybe they're leaving early. Turns out they weren't. That was a bus to somewhere else. And the two people in front of me in the queue were also going to New York. Um, and that was fine. And this was, I think my bus was at 12 and, or 11. No, my bus was at 11 and I was there at 10.30 and we were waiting and I was the third person in queue. So I was like, okay. Um, because I was by myself, I felt as though I should stay there and not bother going out food or not asking them to be like, hey, can you watch my stuff? Because, you know, carrying it around my stuff is annoying. But I should have gone and got food. Um, yeah, I should have, you know, sacrificed my spot in the line to go get food because the bus was meant to be there at 12, at 11 to leave, but didn't come until like quarter past 12 so I was in the line for an hour and a half almost two hours really and what happens to me when I don't eat is I just you know it probably happens to other people as well um, but I got like a super massive headache and started getting a sore throat and stuff and was like Ugh. and then got on the bus and the bus was packed and it was shitty and like Ugh, it's a bus um, and it was a kind of Four and a half to five hour trip. It was alright, I guess. Um, could have been worse. Um, and then I got into New York City. I think I had passed the hunger stage, but still had the headache and stuff. Um, I got into New York City and was on some street. I don't know, but it was big because it was New York. And got a taxi. I was all like, hey, taxi man, and did the thing where you put your arm up. And, you know, classically all the fucking taxis went past. And then this kind of black car came and was like, you need a taxi? And I was, like, oh, I was a bit like hesitant because um, I've heard, I don't know if it's in New York specifically, but you know, people come and claim to be a taxi when they're actually not and then they mug you. Um, but I was right near a bus stop and there was a guy at the bus stop and he was kind of, I was kind of making sure to look at him. And then um, got in the taxi and as the guy was like, it'll be expensive because it's not a yellow cab. And I was like, oh, whatever, I don't care. I just want to get to my place and eat something. Um, and it ended up being like $45, which like is whatever, because it took me, I don't know, probably was expensive, but whatever. At this point, I didn't give a shit. And he didn't mug me, so that was a plus. Um, then I got to the hostel, paid for my room and stuff, got the Wi-Fi password, and then I was at the reception, and then they're like, yeah, your room's in there, the door directly behind you. I was like, oh, and there was just this shitty sliding doors, and, and, and yeah basically is a shitty hostel. Um, it smelt like, my room smelt like deep fried chicken? I don't know, it was really, it was gross. Just, uh, put me off a lot straight away. And also the fact that there was just sliding doors and my room was off the kitchen and reception area. I was like, ah. Uh. So it was obviously like a loft apartment or something, tra uh, yeah, transformed into a Hostel thing. Um, that night, I was able to sleep simply because I hadn't eaten, basically. Um, but there was a fucking club next door, and that was all like, <laughs> and it sucked. But I could sleep um, because I was dead, as I said before. Um, then the next day, this is staying in Brooklyn, by the way. The next day, I went to the park that was a bit down the road. Um, after getting some food somewhere, I think I got Subway because it was like 11 or something when I was eventually up and out. Um, I got that and went to the park and ate the food and then I hung out there for a while because I like parks. Um, and not really, not much happened that day, really. Um, but then when I went to, back to my room at some point, the fucking room was really fucking hot even though it was cold outside like I think the kitchen for the restaurant thing underneath where I was staying was like the fucking stove or something made this the fucking floor warm and then obviously heat rises and I think I had shut my window because it was cold and stuff so all the heat was kept in my room um, even with the fucking slidey doors so while outside I was wearing like a coat and stuff 
inside inside the room I was wearing shorts and t-shirt and still being like hot and like ugh. So I ended up turn, opening the windows, both of which wouldn't open, like wouldn't stay open. One of them stayed open a bit, like enough, but it was still shitty. And I had the fan on as well, on full. Um, and then that night, because it was hot, I couldn't sleep. Um, but normally when I'm hot and can't sleep, I eventually get to sleep. Um, but then there was also the club noise. This was a Thursday night as well. There was club noise and for some reason the club was super loud that night. So I couldn't sleep because of that. Um, but it was kind of a consistent bass beat thing, so I kind of could, but the hot and the combination of the hot and the club kind of meant that I couldn't get to sleep for a while. I think I went to try to get to bed at 11 or so, and then, um, for some reason, oh, the club stopped at, stopped music at like 1am, and for some reason that woke me up, I think. Then, it was still hot, so I couldn't get to bed to sleep for like an hour. And kind of as I was about to sleep, um, two, no, it was a dude, the, like, manager of the hostel or something, and two girls came into the kitchen area, which is whatever, and then the dude was, like, clearly drunk, because he was talking really fucking loudly, and, like, straight away, I was like, like, normally, if people are talking loudly, I'll be like, um, just deal with it, I will deal with it, and be like, no, I'm too... I'm too scared to go tell them to be quiet, but like, at this point I was like, I've been trying to sleep for three hours, I'm gonna tell them to shut the fuck up. So I was like, can you guys please keep me on? And they didn't really say anything, but they looked at me. Then, I went back to bed. They seemed a bit slightly quieter than normal, but got louder eventually. It was mainly the dude, really. Um, a bit later, one of the girls was getting loud because she was kind of getting annoyed at work or something and how shit the pay is in America. That was kind of shit. <laughs> and they left that area an hour later um, and, and I probably didn't get to sleep until like 4 or 4.30. And then the next day, probably got up at like 11, um, then I was like, I'm gonna go into Manhattan today. I think that was always the plan. Um, and kind of on my way to walking to the strain station or whatever, there was, I was, I pulled out my Red Bull and opened it and started, took a drink from it and then there was a woman like, oh, Red Bull, and then, um, normally I would respond and just be like, yeah, and like smile at her or whatever, but for some reason I was like, yeah, it gets your wings, ho ho ho, I'm trying to be funny, and then I started crossing the road and then she kind of yelled out something and I was like, what, and then, that kept happening for a bit, and then I ended up going over to her, and she basically asked for a smoke. And I was all like, I don't smoke, sorry. And then she was like, oh, well, give me the Red Bull then. I was like, no. <laughs> um, I was like, why? I was like, it's mine, plus I already drank from it. And then I think she said something, and um, she said it fast, and I didn't quite understand her, and I probably said, yeah, ha ha ha, like, as people do when they don't quite understand someone. Um, and then... Uh, random shit happened, she asked what was in my pocket, and it was my video camera. I think she thought it might have been another Red Bull that I wouldn't give her, and I was like, no, it's my video camera. She was like, where are you going? I'm, I'm going into Manhattan, and then she was like, oh, so I'll give you my number, and I was like, what? No. And, um, I was like, why? And I was like, well, I'm, I'm leaving in a few days, I'm not from here. Crazy lady, and then I didn't say crazy lady, but she was. Um, then I... She asked why again, and I was like, oh, no, and then... She was like, oh, you break my heart, so I don't know if she was like a prostitute or something, it was weird. Um, and then, random words were said, I was like, I'm confused, I just want to go into Manhattan, and then she was like, you break my heart, go now, and then, like, really abruptly, and then I was like, okay, and just like, fucking turned and walked and didn't look back, and was like, fuck that shit. Um, then at the train station, I got... Oh, on the way there, I saw some saw some colourful shit that might show up now. I don't know. Um, then I got the subway. I was meant to get on like the blue line, but then I got on the wrong train that was the orange line. And but it was still going into Manhattan, so I was like, whatever. And then I ended up getting off the, at the first stop in Manhattan, which was fucking stupid. I was in Chinatown, which is in like bottom of the island, and then I ended up having to walk all the way up. 
to where I want to be, which was um, like Central Park and Times Square and stuff. Yeah, I got to Times Square, I was like, yeah, this is awesome and stuff. And then um, I went to Central Park and I was like, yeah, this is awesome and stuff. Yeah, and then, and then the train that I got, there was like a station right near Central Park that I could have gotten off at. And I was like, fuck. And, but I kept that in mind for next time. Um, but that wasn't needed. Uh, I think that night I was like, fuck this hostel place. I booked this place to be able to sleep at, and I can't fucking sleep at it. So I ended up buying, getting um, four nights at a hotel that night, I think, which cost me like $1,200, which was basically all my money. I had $400 left after that. Um, but yeah, I booked it that night, and it was like, yeah. Black years. And then the next day I went uh, and crossed the Brooklyn Bridge from Brooklyn over to Manhattan and walked through Chinatown a bit and crossed from Manhattan over Manhattan Bridge to Brooklyn again and went back and kind of just, like, I don't know, I just didn't do much that day apart from walk a fuckload. Um, and the next day was my birthday, yay! Um, it was also Easter that day and also it was the day that I... Move from the hostel to the hotel. Um, yeah. So I got to. Uh, I had to get off a few streets early before the street that I had to go on. I had to be on 51st Street or Avenue, I don't know. I got to 51st Street, was all like, oh, I don't know which way to walk because I don't know. And walked left when I should have gone right. Uh, when I went left, I walked a few blocks and suddenly there was a like Easter parade thing and I was like, oh, I don't know, and asked the policeman where to go. And he was like, the way you came, essentially. And then I got to the hostel, I was like, fuck yeah, this place is awesome. Um, then I went to, back to the parade thing, and I was like, oh cool, basically the parade was, a street was blocked off for people who were dressed up as like the Easter Bunny and stuff to be like, yo, woo, and other people to take photos of them. Um, there was probably more stuff before I got there, but... I didn't see it. Um, then I went to Central Park, because Central Park is fucking awesome, and it was fucking packed because it was a Sunday, it was a nice day, and it was Easter. And, you know, the rest of my time there was kind of uneventful, really, because um, I was at the hotel. The hotel was really nice, it was a super comfy bed and stuff. Um, well, super nice for someone my age, I guess, I don't know. Um, then the next day I went to the park again, because Central Park is awesome, walked. Mm, somewhere, I think I ended up walking up to like two thirds length of the path. Um, yeah, that just is in one go, not in total. Um, yeah, just went there again, and then the day after I went to, I think I walked along. Broad, yeah, I went. I walked. I went. I think I went from Central Park and found Broadway and walked down Broadway. It wasn't really that interesting. Um, there was a there was a GameStop there again, and I bought um, Dark Souls, which I plan to stream, and The Last of Us, which I plan to stream as well, because um, they were cheap and stuff. Um, walked down Broadway. It wasn't really that interesting. Went to the hotel, uh, hung out, and then I went to Times Square at about 7:30 p.m. Uh, when it was kind of dark. It was also kind of cloudy as well, so that helped. Um, and it was fucking awesome at night. I was surprised that there weren't as many people there um, compared to when I was there during the day. Um, but it was still fucking awesome. Um, yeah. Then my second last day there, or the day before I flew home, I went to Panzer Park again and didn't really do much. Um, I think I ended up just kind of staying in the hotel and watching YouTube essentially, but as I said I went to Central Park for a bit um, just because I wanted to relax more on my last day. Um, then on the 24th of April I came home. Checkout was at 12 p.m. so yeah it's p.m. p.m. noon so I went down at like 11.30, assuming that there would probably be lots of people at 12 to check out. Um, checked out, got my deposit back. Oh, also, yeah, when I checked in, the deposit was half my money, so I was like, fuck, basically I had $200 left over. 
and then I suddenly got $200 back, and I was like, oh cool, I can't spend this here, whatever, and took it home and spent it on a fucking TV. Um, yeah, I, left, I checked out at like 11.30, got a taxi, and basically I got to um, JFK Airport at 12.20, but my flight from JFK to LA wasn't for four hours, so I just went through security and stuff, which was pretty quick, actually, um, and hung out for a long time. When I was on the plane from LA, well, basically the planes, the two planes home, I was in a seat. The middle aisle of seats, I was on one of the, the aisle seats on one of those, if you know what I mean. Um, which, is, in my opinion, was probably the best place to be because um, I didn't have to get up unless I wanted to because other people were, they could get up because they were, whatever. And yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed them that seat, so I might keep that in mind for the next time I fly long distance. Um, yeah, the flight from LA to Sydney was kind of funny. Cause, well, it was actually a good flight for me, because was, I was sitting next to a kid and their mom, um, but it was night time for LA and I wanted to also sleep on the plane to try and fix jet lag or whatever because it was like a 15 hour flight and I would land in Sydney at 6 a.m. ish um, so I wanted to try and sleep for the whole fucking flight and I ended up kind of sleeping for the whole fucking flight apart from the last two hours or so which I watched the Lego movie um, and the kid wasn't crying the whole time because they weren't a baby they were like a they could speak so yeah um, but basically that's my trip. It's a longer vlog than I hoped. Um, but yeah. Um, it was an awesome trip. I really glad, I'm really i really glad I came. Um, the highlight was definitely PAX and meeting Zach in August. Um, it was really cool to hang out with those guys in person after talking to them for close to a year now. Um, I also wanted to just thank you guys for basically kind of giving, giving me the opportunity to do this. Um, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have come to America maybe? I don't know, probably, I don't know, probably most likely wouldn't have come to America till later and not to go to PAX probably. Um, yeah, it was, it was an awesome experience and yeah, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed, remember to stay luscious and I'll see you guys next time.